Paul, if a parent has a child with severe eczema or seems not to be growing, and it may be related to gluten sensitivity, what would you see as how they should manage that? Right. Well, in more than 80% of cases, if a child has severe eczema, it's usually in response to uh, the proteins commonly in dairy, eggs and uh, peanuts. Often in wheat and gluten can be implicated, sometimes soy and sesame is, and there can be other food allergen issues. Uh, if they're not growing, that tends to, put, tends to indicate that gluten could be involved. If they're pot belly, that's symptomatic of the, uh, gluten insensitivity. Uh, with, with, a with a young child, it can be difficult to do a, a biopsy and get an accurate result from that, but usually blood tests give a good idea of the immune state of the child, any adverse reactions to gluten or other foods show up. A blood, blood tests have also over the last 20 years become very, very accurate, especially if the doctor or the specialist is familiar with what he's doing and knows how to read and interpret the results. Um, and often you can have problems with a, you know, a two or three month old infant who's still on the mother's breast something the mother's eating, peanut or wheat or cabbage or curry or chilli can be going through the breast milk into the child and the child can have, can, well often there have been young babies that have been covered from head to foot with excruciatingly itchy um, eczema conditions as a result of what they've been eating and usually if they get to the right specialist quickly and the mother's and the baby's or the young child's diet is changed the problem often clears itself up fairly quickly.